Well, yesterday the candidates were confirmed for this year's general election and tonight on Nine Local News we begin our feature election interviews. We begin with a woman who's been campaigning in South Dunedin since receiving her party's nomination, Claire Curran. Good evening, Claire. Hi. Now, firstly, how relieved are you that David Benson Pope isn't standing for the state as an independent? I, th I think it's good that it's on the record, but I, I'm... I never believed that he would stand. I, I've always known that he's ultimately very loyal to Labour. Now, unlike some of your competitors, you've been on the hustings for a while. Do you feel that you, that you got a bit of a head start? I think the most important thing has been just being able to immerse myself in the electorate and really understand the different communities. I still don't feel that I know all of the communities, but I think it's given me the opportunity to really get out there and talk to lots of different people, talk to them on their doorsteps, and people and businesses and really get a feel for what are the issues that, that they care about. Now you're covering quite a big area. Dunedin yes. South is not just St Kilda and St Clair. No, it How goes from it? the Otago Peninsula right across Dunedin South, the flat of uh, uh, South Dunedin up to Caversham and Causdefine and down through Fairfield and Abbotsford and Green Island and to Mosgiel and it goes right down to the Chiri River and it also includes, people might not realise this, but it also includes Middlemarch and Hyde. Mm, that's massive. So what sort of feedback have you been receiving? Uh, really good, you know, uh, there, there's, people are you know, generally concerned about bread and butter issues, about whether they can pay their bills, whether their kids are going to be, get opportunities, whether they can get access to their entitlements and health care. Those sorts of things are the, the top issues on people's minds. And the other things that I find you know, has been growing over, particularly over the last couple of months, has been a lot of uncertainty out there in the community around um, the sort of global economic situation and mm -hmm. concern about who's, who's got the capacity to manage the economy. If elected, how will you best serve the people of the Dunedin South electorate? Well, I'm a passionate advocate for Dunedin and I you know, want to take that with me if I get elected and take that with me into Parliament. And I will always advocate on, the, on behalf of our communities. And I, you know, there's so many things that I want to do. Um, job creation and support for our small businesses and our innovation, the innovative, this is an extraordinarily innovative um, community. Um, warm, dry homes for people right across Dunedin, that's one of the things I think is incredibly important. Opportunities, job opportunities for our young people, those sorts of things, those are the things that I care about. What's the next big step in the campaign for you? Oh well, where do I start? Uh, there's just a, a series of uh, candidate forums between now and the election. There's a couple of really interesting public meetings coming up that I'm hoping people will come to, one in Mosgiel around rail, about whether people want there to be a commuter service between between Mosgiel and Dunedin and another one um, next Friday which is going to be around um, housing and I think that's going to be a really interesting public forum. And very last question, why should somebody vote for you? Well, I'm a woman, uh, I'm a mother, I've got two little boys, I've got strong local connections and I care about our communities and I'm going to do everything I can to advocate on behalf of our communities for the things that people care about. And, uh, you know, I care about public transport, I care about the environment, I care about jobs, more jobs for, for people. I care about the, uh, the low paid and making sure that we've got a strong local economy. And I'm just going to do my very best for Dunedin. Labor's Dunedin South candidate, Claire Curran, thanks for your time.